Powered by the Inside the Birds podcast. Now, live from inside the Matt Black Kia Studios, it's Football at Four. Football at Four is powered by the Inside the Birds podcast, and it is brought to you by Bet365. Whatever the sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary at Bet365. It's a happy hour Friday. We're taking your beverage of choice on this Friday, of course, at 609 609- 403-0973. Eagles Sunday. We've got that game for you here on 97.3 ESPN. We're live at the Gallery Bar Book and Games. Mike Gill, Ryan Rothstein, as we take you through this Friday edition of the Sports Bash. And right now, let's bring him in from Inside the Birds podcast and InsideTheBirds.com. Adam Kaplan is in the house, and he's got some announcements for our listeners out there and the fans of Inside the Birds. What's going on, Adam? Yeah, good to be with you guys. So let's get through these uh, quickly here. So, yeah, we just literally within the last couple minutes announced this, so we will, we'll give your listeners an idea of what we're doing. So on Sunday we're back with our pregame show, 10A to 12P, myself, Jeff Mosher, Greg Cosell, and former Eagles receiver Jason Avant for another year together. We love it. We can't wait to bring it to you. You can watch it on any platform, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, you can watch it there. And we also get the pod version up, by the way, right afterwards. We get it within a, within a half an hour. And then our, here's a cool announcement. Our postgame show this year will be, of course, with Mosher and I. The former Eagles tight end Clay Harbor will be with us the, through the season, however long the Eagles go. And Clay uh, will be with us. And the game should be, uh, the, the show should be you know, around 10 minutes after the game, no more than that. And then we got a couple new shows we're going to we're announce. This is really cool. Derek Gunn in front of our show. Derek Gunn is bringing his interview series over to our platform, uh, YouTube and, and, and Pod. Uh, he, he calls it Gun on One and some special interviews with former Eagles, former coaches, and people with a ne- connection to the Eagles. I don't want to give these away. It's unbelievable what he's got planned. You'll be blown away, so we'll, we'll have his first show up next week. And then another new show called Inside the Film Room with Clay and Cosell, with Greg Cosell and Clay Harbor. They'll be up midweek. We're both will watch the coaching tape. That's the all twenty-two, not the TV tape. It's we're an insider show here, and when you when when they do that, they'll talk about it and they'll also preview the next game. So that should be up Wednesday. I cannot wait to do to have that show debut on on all of our platforms. And then this is super cool. This is incredible with Patreon only or Patreon people. You can go to Patreon.com/slash Inside the Birds. Former Eagles Super Bowl winning uh, quarterbacks coach John D. Filippo. He will go over the Eagles' all-22 offensive tape after every game, and we'll have that up midweek for our Patreon people only. Nowhere else you can get anything like this, patreon.com slash inside the bird. So, by the way, we're going to have more announcements coming. We've got two or three that are, that are pretty significant. So a lot of new programming for Inside the Birds, and I and, uh, can't wait to bring it to you. Very cool. All very uh, cool things, and that's great to hear Clay getting involved. He's been a guest of our show. He's very insightful. Jason Avon, as you guys have had before, awesome stuff. And, of course, uh, Derek Gunn, great pickup there. And Greg Cosell is outstanding, uh, as are the guys from Inside the Birds and InsideTheBirds.com. So let's get into our football at four for week one of the Eagles and the Patriots here. And, man, well, we talked a lot of this offseason, uh, no injuries. We kept asking about injuries being an issue for this team you know they made it through the season last year very healthy through 17 weeks of the regular season and then the playoffs but no injuries to start the season that's probably one of the biggest storylines entering the season is their health yeah nolan smith not only the injury report he will play uh coming off the shoulder injury we'll see what his role is you know i know he played special teams in training camp so we'll see if he does that uh, as a backup and outside linebacker. And then the, Josh Job and, and Mario Goodrich have been cleared to play uh, from the illnesses, so that they've been cleared as of the last hour. That's great. So, yeah, Mike, they're all, the, all 53 players on the roster, on their 53-man roster, they will be available. Now for the Patriots, these are pretty significant. So three, three of their offensive linemen are injured. One will not play for sure. Riley Reef, the right tackle, will not play. They'll go with Calvin Anderson. Uh, as the, he's a backup right tackle, left tackle. He's their top backup player on the offensive line. They have nobody left. The rest are un, guys who have not started a game before have really not played. So they come in. Michael Winter's back from his, his ankle injury. Uh, that's big. Uh, he's a good, very underrated player. But, Mike, there. this is where the matchups with guys, when you look at the matchups here, the Eagles defensive line versus the Patriots offensive line, that's where the rubber meets the road, and that's really a major difference in this game. And, 
quite frankly, I think that's where they could do it. They're, they're not, the Patriots, by the way, are not very deep at receiver. Tyquan Thornton, for the second straight year, he's on injury reserve with a shoulder injury. He's their best deep threat. Devontae Parker uh, missed a lot of training camp with a knee problem. He's, he's questionable to play as, as of right now. So, Mike, as you said, Eagles in great injury shape. The Patriots are not. Yeah, one guy, by the way, at wide receiver, you said they're not deep, but Devontae Parker, I think all Eagles fans remember the game he had against oh. them in Miami one year, right? Wasn't that, was, that one, was that the picket fence game? Was, it, was that one of them? I know they had one against Tennessee. I don't know if that was, but you're yeah. right. 2019, Parker they played went off against them. Yeah, they had that game again. I think he had like over 200 yards. Oh, man. Yeah, it was probably hot in Miami that day. Was that a Jim Schwartz game? It had to be, right? It had to be. It was late coach. in the year. 2019, yes, it was a Jim Schwartz oh, yeah. game. It was late in the year. They lost that game. And I remember at the time, Mosher and you, Ryan, were doing the show with me, and they lost to the <laughs> Dolphins, and people just were, I am out on this team. And I said, eh, who the hell cares? You lose to the Dolphins one week, you probably beat everybody else, and they ripped off the next four games and made it to the playoffs. There that was, uh, yeah, it was a December game. Uh, Nick Foles ended up taking over that year. That was the 2019 season there. But, uh, all right, uh, let's go to the special teams here because they had no punter on the 53-man roster. When we talked to you earlier in the week, Adam, what do we know now? Yeah, it's what we reported on Inside the Birds two weeks ago. Their plan was, and what we said was, plans could change. We wanted people to understand that. You never know with with teams, but what we said is their plan was to go there and sit post off the practice squad. They use it. They're basically calling the roster now 69 players, not 53, because they use the 60 man pre- 60 man practice squad is sort of like an addendum to the roster, and that's what they're doing. So he'll be caught up tomorrow. What we don't know, Mike, because they have to till 4 p.m. Eastern, we don't know if it'll be an act an elevation or sign off the practice squad because you only get three elevations per season. So you keep an eye on that. They worked out five punters over the last week. Suppose is definitely on borrow time here. If he doesn't if he doesn't punt well for the first two weeks. He surely could be gone, so keep, we'll keep an eye on that. All right, uh, let's get into the game. Uh, Adam Kaplan, Inside the Birds podcast. The Eagles offense, some of the changes that they've made, new play caller, going up against the Patriots defense, which is probably, guys, the strength of their team, right? Yeah, and look, we, we, we talked about this with Belichick. We, we, uh, John Filippo told me uh, years ago when John was the offensive coordinator for the Vikings, he put in a whole new defensive scheme. Just for just for the Vikings, they not seen on tape. So look, you got it. It's not overrated about Belichick doing this stuff. It's actually what he does. You need to, you know, we, we only do insider stuff here, Michael, and inside the birds, and this is this is so inside football. Check this out. He what what happened pre snap is the uh, flip said that the defensive linemen were standing up and walking around. He called it a, a walk around type of front. It was really bizarre. And John had not seen this before because they had not done it. So you gotta expect the unexpected. I get it. The Eagles are the better football team. That's not that's not in doubt. But Jalen Hurts does not see anything like this. This is good though. They're gonna have something for him. But you know what? I'm not saying this will counteract it. What's cool is Matt Patricia was a big part of that many years ago with with the, with the Patriots. Just a, about game planning. Now he's with the Eagles as a not only a defensive consultant, but he's helping both coaches on both sides of the football. But it's great to have Patricia with the coaching staff because he knows how Belichick thinks. Adam, let's uh, switch it up here and look at the Patriots offensively, led, of course, by Mac Jones, new offensive coordinator, back in town, we should say, as, uh, with Bill O'Brien, uh, going up against this Eagles defense. So I mean, what have you seen on the tape? Well, here's the way I see it from talking to people, Ryan. Bill O'Brien is a good play caller. He really is. He, he did a very good job with Tom Brady many years ago, did a good job with Deshaun Watson. The good, uh, good job at University of Alabama. He's bad. Belichick he corrected his mistake with Patricia being the OC, and he's got Bill O'Brien in here, and it's a really smart move. He's a better than average play caller. They're going to get Matt Jones back on schedule. Jones was terrible last season after being really good as a rookie. You've got R- Ramondre Stevenson as their starting running back. They only have two running backs in the roster. Ezekiel Elliott will back them up. The pass protection is going to be a challenge for them. There's no doubt with this Eagles front, and Eagles are much deeper on their, their defensive line than people understand. It's one of the deepest defensive lines in football. So that, that to me is, again, as I said earlier, that's really where the Eagles could win. They could win up front versus that, that, that offensive line, which is kind of makeshift for the Patriots. And, look, the, the Patriots aren't great at receivers, so this is, they, they, I see these guys, I don't know about you, but I see this as a low-scoring game. Yeah, I mean, it's funny how uh, everybody's kind of looking at this Patriots defense and saying, hey, they can give this Eagles team problems. So let's, let's jump back to offense a little bit here. Um, the Eagles 
on offense. Matt Judon, I want to kind of get your thoughts on that. Um, you know, 15 sacks last year. Uh, is he a guy that you're concerned about against this team, the Eagles offensive line against that Patriots, you know, pass rush? Oh, yeah, Judon is incredible, Mike. He's a terrific football player, explosive. Yeah, and uh, Josh Uche is really good, another good pass rusher. Now, the Eagles know this. They, they know what they're coming with. There's going to be a lot of try to disguise and try to confuse Hurts. So I'm, I'm looking forward. To, this is what the chess match is, Mike. This is why this game is so fun for week one. Because, uh, look, they're going, to bring in, they're going to try to bring in something different that Hurts and Sirianni and his coaches haven't seen. Uh, and it's, this is just why we love football, Mike. You don't quite know what's going to happen. But the Eagles' offensive personnel and defensive personnel is just better than New England. And that's, that's to me, where it's, that's the difference here. But it's going to be fun, Mike. It, it's, oh, by the way, it might rain on Sunday. We'll have to see. Look at the storms uh, in the forecast oh now. But, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking forward to the chess match here because you've got to be patient, folks. Some of, the, some of the Eagles' offense may look ugly because they're going to see some stuff that's different. But overall, they're, they're, they're town is superior. And the offensive line, but the one thing is, though, Cam Jurgens at, at right guard, Mike, that, that's something to keep an eye on. Yep, um... I, you know, Jurgen's obviously the first new piece or the only new piece on the offensive line. I want to get your thoughts on how Belichick will defend Hurts. Um, you know, yesterday we were talking about Hurts, and now there's a full season of tape on him. Do you think teams will defend him differently now that they have a full off season to kind of watch what he did last year? Yeah, another thing, like on that, is that the Patriots historically do not cover running quarterbacks well. They'll give up a lot of yardage. They'll, they'll back off. They'll try to, you know, they're, they're, they're much better at not giving up big plays on defense in terms to at receiver or tight end. But I'm, I'm interested to see how do they spy him? Like, how do they try to stop Hurts? That's a fascinating matchup. I, I, I'm so looking forward to what Bill Belichick and Gerard Mayo as the defense coordinator try to do with Hurts here. But the, the cool thing about the Eagles is because they're, they're – You've got three excellent pass targets. And the other thing is, Mike, which I'll add before I get out of here, it's the deployment of DeAndre Swift. That, that guy's a difference maker out of the backfield, something we have not seen since Miles Sanders was great in year one when he had 50 catches, and after that they really haven't thrown in the backs much. Yeah, That's got to change the season. It starts with Swift on Sunday. Yeah, you said something on Tuesday that kind of stood out. I think you said you think you know that the backs will get, I forget the exact number, but more, you know, last year – they only had 61 targets to their running backs the whole season last year. So it yep. sounds like you think that number is going to go up, I don't want to say significantly, but going to go up. I think it doubles. I, I, I said, I'm, I'm, well, at least this game, Mike, but really over the course of the season, why can't it double? Because well, ask yourself this question, why would you make a trade for John R. Swift and not use him? He's, not, he's, a, he's shifty. He's incredible out of the backfield. They got to use game wall, game wall's numbers, catch numbers, and target numbers were down last season. I think it was 22 last year, 33 receptions two years ago as a rookie. They kind of lost their way, and I know I know Hurts doesn't check it down. But then the big thing is, as we've talked about on inside the birds, guys, is that they designed a lot of stuff we saw in training camp, and that's what we're looking forward to this season. All right, uh, Eagles Patriots uh, Sunday right here on 97.3 ESPN. The coverage at three. Merrill Reese, Mike Quick. Call all the action at 425 on your home for Eagles football. Uh, Adam Kaplan and, of course, the crew from Inside the Birds all season long for football at four here on the Sports Bash. All right, Adam, enjoy the game, man. We'll be watching uh, all the Inside the Birds content pre- and post-game. All right, guys, thank you.